Now Aisha radiallahu anha will be under no moral pressure because I'm late, I'm over. Once again engage her and repose the question. If she consents, then bury me next to Nabi alayhi salam. Otherwise hand me over to Jannatul Baqi where the general ummah is sleeping. Abdullah ibn Umar, once again the narration says, Suhaib radiallahu anhu led this janaza and this, this great amanat was handed over and Aisha radiallahu anha consented and, Abd- and Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu has been put next to Nabi alayhi salatu was salam. What were my opening comments, my brother? From plotting the assassination of Nabi alayhi salam to sleep in the defeat of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, from plotting the assassination of Nabi alayhi salam to sleep in the defeat of Islam. These were the heights you can reach. Umar ibn Khattab used to say, "Kull yawmin yuqalu fihi mat fulanun wa mat fulanun, wala budd min yawmin yuqalu fihi mat Umar." Every day you hear this one died and that one died. A day has to come when you will hear Umar has also died. My brother, this great day has dawned upon you. This great man has dawned upon you. It is time we now nourish this impoverished and mal, malnourished soul. If a man is on the corners and the street corners for 11 months of the year, no food, no shelter, and you bring him for one month and you feed him, how much can you rehabilitate him when 11 months the man was without shelter? 11 months the soul was without shelter. 11 months it was malnourished, it wasn't given food. Let us nourish the soul so that we can hear the whispers of the soul. We can hear the reproach of the soul. We can hear the chastisement of the soul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instill, infuse and imbibe within us the great life of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu and that we draw from his life, we repent and we return in a manner that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم اجعل اجتماعنا هذا اجتماعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا ولا منا ولا معنا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم حبب إلينا الإيمان وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان اللهم اجعلنا من الراشدين Oh my kind, loving, caring, merciful, benevolent Allah, forgive us all, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, bless us with the sight where our homes become a place and an abode of piety and nobility. Allah, we tired to go home and see one child on pornography and the other one with earphones and the third one on, on immoral discussions. O oh my kind Allah, our homes despite being palaces have become haunted, have become deserted, have become a place of misery and, and discord, have become a place of disunity and antagonism. Allah, let us go home and see one son on the musalla and the wife performing salah and the third one making wudu and one reciting durood. Oh my kind, loving, caring Allah, as these eyes have seen Islam being suppressed, let them, let them see Islam being, being, being flourished across the world. Oh Allah, give us contentment. Allah, give us halal and satisfaction on halal. Oh my Allah, free us from greed, my Allah. How long will this greed and hankering after this world eat us? Oh Allah, devour us, consume us from within Allah. Let let us not be amongst those who severe ties because of wealth or other things, O oh Allah. Let us go back, forgive and pardon, O oh Allah. O oh my Allah, you have told us in the Quran not to reject or rebuke the beggar. Can there be greater beggars than us, O oh Allah? Every one of us are drowning in our sins and our vice, my Allah. You know my evil, it's been your extreme kindness to shelter us, my Allah. People get deceived by us, O oh Allah, by a mere change of garb, by a mere sajda. But it is your mercy, my Allah. You have put a veil over us. Just as you veiled us in this world, Allah, veil us in the qabr. Don't embarrass us on the day of qiyamah. My Allah, the youth that are roaming the streets and the clubs and the pubs. My Allah, return them home, my Allah. The parents that are tossing with pain and agony, let them sigh with relief. Our youth that are in jails and rehabilitations, my Allah, bring them home. My Allah, free our homes and societies of this wicked, evil habit of drugs, Allah. Allah, take out all these dependent Take out these evil habits, bring modesty in my gaze, bring morality in my appearance, bring honesty in our businesses, Allah, enhance the fabric of our society, protect us, O oh Allah, from everything, Allah. Allah, today it's just not our wealth that has been attacked, our iman has been attacked, everything is under attack, O oh my Allah. 
you just as oh my Allah in the ark of Nuh, in the ark of Nuh, oh Allah, you put unity between the wolf and the sheep, oh Allah, between the lion and the goat, Allah, you put unity, oh Allah, between brothers and brothers, between partners in their business, between mother-in-laws and daughter-in-laws, oh Allah, between, between employers and employees, oh Allah, Allah, let there be harmonious relation in our existence, Allah, let us coexist with our non-Muslim neighbors, oh Allah, Allah, save the planet from catastrophes and tragedies from tsunamis and earthquakes my Allah my Allah you are that kind love and care in Allah Wala yakhafu uqbaha you declare in the Quran that you can forgive those that are not deserving and nobody can take action against you Allah if we forgive the undeserving there is a recourse against us we have to retract our decisions as much as we don't deserve it Allah none can question your authority if you forgive us none can hold you accountable why did you forgive Sulaiman despite being so wicked my kind loving caring Allah you have no authority over you وَلَا يَخَافُ عُقْبَاهَا وَلَا يُسْأَلُ عَمَّا يَفْعَلْ None can question you. Forgive us by your kindness and your mercy. We ask you through the agency of your beautiful names. We ask you through the agency of your ismuk al-a'zam. Oh Allah, we have forfeited the right of existence by our evil Allah. Allah, when a person violates the laws of his visa, then they, they deny him entry into that country, Allah. Allah, you have the right to deny us existence, Allah. We have forfeited our right to exist. We don't have the rights to exist. We comfortably enjoy your bounties and we publicly disobey you, my Allah. Free our gatherings from gossip, O oh Allah. Free our discussions from immorality, Allah. Allah, bring haya into our lives. Allah, our young brothers and sisters that are of marriageable age and they phoned us and requested of us, give them suitable partners, Allah. Those couples that are married and are desirous of children, fill their laps with beautiful children. Those that have children, make them the coolness of their eyes, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, guide, protect, aid, and assist the ummah. O oh Allah, help whatever movement of haqq is happening, wherever the jamaats and ijtimas are taking place, Allah, let it be successful, O oh Allah. The madaris, whatever activity of deen, wherever islahi talks are taking place, guide, protect, and assist one and all. Oh Allah, we ask from you all the good that Nabi alayhi salatu has asked from you. And we ask protection against all the evil against which Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam had asked protection against. Allah, the brothers have gathered here in the hundreds and the thousands. And how many would be listening to us over the airwaves? Oh Allah, everyone is crying his heart out to you. 